Yes. We are filtering down. out yes. treats with Happy. As you can see at first, down. she can see the treat, yes. just like when you uh, train the commands in the first place. Sit. Yes. Sit. Yes. Now I'm just pretending I have food and I treat from the other hand. Down. If you really yes. struggle, here, making this transition, you can actually have food in one hand, but still treat from the other hand. Down. Yeah. So right here, if I couldn't get her to go down without a lure, I would use food, but I wouldn't treat her from the same hand. I'd still treat Sit. her from the opposite hand. Yes. Looks like I did have a piece there. Sit. Yes. So now... After I give the hand motion, I show her I have no food. Down. Then I treat from the other hand. Down. Yes. Now I show her I have no food first. Yes. This tends to be the hardest step. That's why it's important not to cut out those little steps Down. if you're struggling. Yes. So I show her the empty hand and then give the hand motion. Sit. Yes. Down. Yes. Now I'm just testing her verbal skills. She's not good with sit if I'm on the ground. You'll see this here. So I ask her to do it. Sit. Then I have to give her the, the hand yes. motion. Now I give her a verbal Down. yes, but yes. she does not get a treat. Now we do just the hand motions with no verbal, which dogs tend to be yes. much better at. Yes. That's why it's important to do this yes. exercise to make sure they're getting the verbal. Yes. Please note that with happy, just a verbal yes to mark the behavior is enough for her. With lower drive or lower energy dogs, you may need to be more verbal with your praise and uh, more exciting in general. With happy's personality in this low distraction environment, it would only make her lose focus. A couple of side notes is if you have a bait bag, Make sure you start alternating it between the front, side, and back, as well as just having treats in your pocket, um, like I use my sweatshirt here. The bait bags are very powerful, and you want to make sure you even filter them out. Otherwise, the dog tends to only obey when you have a treat pouch on. Please note that this video only really applies to obedience and trick training, not behavioral issues or pack structure. That is a very different filtering out routine. Okay, now back to the fun. Down. Now I'm just going to show you a few different tricks to make Down. a point here. Sit. You can use just a sit stay. Say Down. you're working on a sit stay. Yes. Do it two times in a row, then treat. Then do it five times in a row before sit. you treat. Go right. Then Down. make sure you treat yes. two or three or four times in Sit. a row. It's Go really right. important to Down. keep it random. Sit. Down. Roll. As far yes. as when you treat. Here. Sit. As far as doing the tricks that I'm doing here, the next mm -hmm. stage that I would work on is uh, doing these Roll. commands without all the hand Sit. motions Down. and doing just the verbal. Sit. And then also Shake. doing the verbal. Yes. Excuse me, also doing the hand motions without the verbal. Down. Switching back and forth between the two. It's also something else you can work on. Just also Six. don't ever forget the importance of treating several times Six. in a row. Yeah. Especially if you're struggling in Six. like a high distraction environment. Six. Or somewhere they've never been before. Down. Or performing for people Roll and over. they've never done that yes. before. For dogs that have been heavily treat trained for one reason or another, getting rid of lures is important. If your dog is struggling with needing a lure for a specific command, do that command 10 times in a row with a lure. Then try the next step of pretending that you have food. This will work. In the future, when your dog just struggles with a command in a high distraction environment, like say a down, and you know he knows how to do it and has generalized the command to all areas and situations, then you can use a lure if you like, but do not treat him. Just a verbal yes or 
good boy is fine. Or you will accidentally train your dog that if he waits to obey you, he gets to have the food come back out. Yes, they are that smart. Now, I also encourage all of you to watch this video again and ignore my commentary so you can really focus on my body language timing and what it is I'm actually doing. Say thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, several short five-minute sessions a day are way better than 30 minutes of work. Any more questions, visit our website, doggersizedogtraining.com, or email me at info at doggersizela.com.